Right, time for some explanation. This is a video response after watching Digibony's video explaining why he started making analytical videos on MLP, and he advises people that want to start videos as well. Now, I only just started making Mad Munchkin videos in March of this year, 2013, so I'm in no position to give advice on how to start making videos or anything, since I'm still learning and have to admit I'm not great at editing yet, but I've been writing reviews and editing videos since high school. But I will say this. There's no such thing as a bad idea. There is such a thing as a badly executed idea. Having the passion and knowledge on how to do something isn't enough. You have to practice and find your own style. Also, there's no such thing as a wrong analysis or a wrong opinion. But be prepared to have heated debates as there will be people that will disagree with you or pointlessly poke holes in your theories just to be a bitch. Personally, I can't handle people that only point out negativity in a show, especially if it's just for the sake of telling a joke. Or being a bitch. I try to be as positive as I can possibly be, even if I'm reviewing something I don't particularly like. Mad Munchkin is a character. Munchkin is my nickname in real life, so I do tend to refer to myself as Munchkin as well, which can be a little confusing. All of her opinions and thoughts are the same as my own, but her character is basically an exaggerated version of myself, so there are things that she says that aren't quite the same as how I would say them. There's a side of me that wants to make these videos more of a performance, so that they're entertaining as well as fun to make for me. I have always had a love for the creative process behind film, and for most of my education, have studied pretty extensively what goes into that. Although I tend to avoid talking about the technical attributes behind animation, I choose to do this because although it is important to me, I feel that the art theory behind a movie or show's look is a much more open topic to analyse and is something that I am much more passionate about. I am also passionate about the history of animation, so try to make my videos as informative as possible without turning it into a history lesson. Like most other people in the analysis community, I use Audacity to record the audio and create my images using Photoshop, then use either Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas to put the videos together. I try to make the videos as simple as possible and don't put much animation in them other than facial expressions and effects on the text. I come from a contemporary fine art background. After finishing high school, I went to art school for five years where I specialised in surrealism and studied photography and stop motion as well. I was awarded a BA in contemporary fine art and held several group exhibitions and sell my artwork online. After graduating though, I decided that although freelancing and putting on art exhibitions was great, my real passion was animated movies, TV shows and video games, and decided that conceptual art and animation was what I really wanted to get into. Not to mention freelancing pays you peanuts and commissions are a bitch. I am now currently studying animation and I'm an art director for an independent video game company called Roadhog Games. We'll be releasing our first game this year and I can't wait to show you guys that project as we have all worked really hard on it. If you'd like to find out more about that, check out the Roadhog Facebook page and my DeviantArt account to see some concept art for the game. You'll also find my portfolio on there which is updated on a weekly basis so it's well worth a look. Go check it out. Video portfolios are the best way to get exposure, so a side of me is making these videos to get my artwork noticed, but I'm also making these videos to teach myself how to edit and create videos. I'm also doing them for fun as well. Like I said, I'm still learning and can't devote as much time to these videos as I would like, so the quality will improve at a pretty slow pace, but I hope that people will still find them entertaining and informative to watch. I encourage constructive criticism. And the only person that has helped me and given advice on making these videos is Digibrony, who is partly responsible for how much exposure my videos have been getting recently, and has been great help on encouraging me as well as telling me what I could improve on. More feedback is highly appreciated, and I try to respond to every comment or message I receive if I feel a response is needed. Thanks for watching. I'm Mad Munchkin. Stay creative.